Hello everyone. Welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about using divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. How do we know that a number is divisible by 3? This is the divisibility rule for 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. For example, 162. Is 162 divisible by 3? Let's check. It is said that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. So we're going to add all the digits of 162. These are 1 plus 6 plus 2. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Is 9 is a multiple of 3 or 9 is divisible by 3? Let's divide. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, 162 is divisible by 3 because the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Another example, 891. So let's try to check if 891 is divisible by 3. How? We're going to add all the digits of 891. So 8 plus 9 plus 1. So let's add 8 plus 9 is equal to 17 plus 1 is equal to 18. Is 18 divisible by 3? 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. And there is no remainder. Therefore, 891 is divisible by 3 because the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. How do we know that a number is divisible by 6? This is the divisibility rule for 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. For example, 462. Is this number divisible by 6? So let's check. First is we're going to check if it is divisible by 2 because it is said that a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, is 462 divisible by 2? Alright, 462 is divisible by 2 because it ends with an even number which is 2. Next is we're going to check if this number is divisible by 3. How? We're going to add all the digits of 462. So, 4 plus 6 plus 2. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Let's try to check if 12 is divisible by 3. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And there is no remainder. Therefore, 462 is divisible by 6 because it is an even number and it is divisible by 2 and the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Another example, 726. So let's try to check. If 726 is divisible by 6. So first is we're going to check the number if it is divisible by 2. 726 ends with 6 and 6 is an even number. So 726 is divisible by 2. Okay, next is we're going to check 726 if it is divisible by 3. How? We're going to add all the digits. 7 plus 2 plus 6. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Plus 6 is equal to 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? 
15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, 726 is divisible by 6 because it is an even number which is divisible by 2 and the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. How do we know that a number is divisible by 9? This is the divisibility rule for 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is divisible or a multiple of 9. For example, is 873 divisible by 9? So let's check. It is said that a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. So let's add all the digits. 8 plus 7 plus 3. So 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. Therefore, 873 is divisible by 9 because the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. Another example, is 6786 divisible by 9? So let's check. We're going to add all the digits. 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6. So let's add. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, plus 8 is equal to 21, plus 6 is equal to 27. Is 27 divisible by 9? 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3, and there is no remainder. Therefore, 6786 is divisible by 9 because the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. It is very easy to know if a number is divisible by 3, 6, and 9, right? So let's have a recap. Divisibility rule for 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Next, divisibility rule for 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. Lastly, divisibility rule for 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is divisible or a multiple of 9. Let's have some exercises. Put a check mark on your paper if the given number is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Otherwise, put a cross mark if it is not. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.